Hi there, welcome to part four of Open Source Development with App Inventor. And in this part, we're going to talk about the Android activity lifecycle. Uh, we can see here in the contents that um, we have three main topics the Android activity lifecycle itself, uh, how that uh, lifecycle uh, activity relates to App Inventor, which is ma mainly through the class form.java, and then some interfaces that App Inventor provides. Uh, in order to make this uh, this possible, we are going to see uh, these four interfaces in there, but uh, there are a few more in the code base. We are seeing these ones because we are going to base this um, video in the texting component. So uh, let's get started. Um, here is the main site as usual. We are not going to go through any of the documents in here today. Uh, but we are going to be uh, looking at the sources directly. So if you uh, are not very familiar with Android development, you have to go to developer.android.com slash training and basically do all the uh, training that is around this uh, in this page because it's it's fundamental for, for any component that you want to make. The components are based on the um, Android SDK. So all these uh, training materials are going to be very, very handy. The one that you can't skip is this one, managing the activity lifecycle. It's absolutely uh, paramount that you go through all these stages. We can see it in here. Uh, there are basically four lessons, uh, starting, pausing and resuming, stopping and restarting, and then recreating. Uh, I'm only going to show you how the, uh, the figure looks. So an activity, uh, when, when we're talking about an activity, we're basically talking about a screen in, in, the, in the phone. In our case, um, in App Inventor, it's going to be an instance of uh, the form class, form.java. Uh, we are going to see that in a minute, but this is just pure Android. So an, an Android activity is going to be created and it's going to, st it's going to uh, Pass from uh, from the different state stages that you can that you can see in this diagram. So from created to started, uh, when it's started, it's already visible, and you can see that there is a hook there, the on start method that is actually going to be called whenever the um, the activity is created. When the activity passes from started, which is visible, to resumed, which is uh, is still visible. Uh, it's going to um, it's going to launch that on resume uh, method. Uh, when it passes to post, uh, it says partially visible. So imagine that you have a that you have a screen and then uh, a call comes in, and you you see that the call uh, stops the previous activity uh, and it and takes a stage basically. And then from post, uh, it can go to stop. It can be, it can go to destroyed, but it can also go back to started. And from post can go to on resume, on pause. And you can see that all the arrows there are uh, the different paths that an activity can follow. So let's have a look at the uh, App Inventor code. So this is form.java, and it's in a package called uh, Come Google App Inventor Components Runtime. This is basically the, the core of everything in, in App Inventor. When you create a screen, it's actually a, an instance of this class. And as you can see here, it is tense activity. And it actually is tense activity from Android, uh, android.app.activity. So uh, a form or a screen is basically an activity. And uh, for that uh, reason, it's going to go through all these states uh, that you can see in the in the figure. So uh, what we do, what we generally do is, um, I'm going to show you here in the texting component. So uh, the texting uh, component is going to implement this uh, a series of uh, of interfaces, right? So it's going to implement on resume, on pause, on initialize, and on stop. So you can see that those names are, are giving away what basically what it's doing. On resume is actually a hook to on resume 
in the form or in the activity. Unpause is actually a hook to unpause in the activity. <coughs> same for initialize and same for stop. So we can see here if we go to the constructor uh, sorry that was not the constructor uh, if we go to the constructor we can see here that towards the end it actually registers all this uh, all these uh, interfaces for uh, lifecycle callbacks so this is and you can see that it's doing it through the form class so this is basically saying uh, to the form class whenever these guys happen uh, let us know so uh, let's see what happens for instance on, on resume in this guy uh, on resume uh, th this is a texting component so uh, we want to process cache messages uh, we want to send notifications you know we want to do a series of things in here on resume on pause uh, we are not doing much really we are simply saying that it's running is false so it's not running anymore so uh, you can see what that does what does uh, that does in here and in the form class uh, what we do with um, with uh, the listeners is you can see here that we are gonna have a hash uh, table for each of those listeners so uh, we have a hash for unstop listeners, a hash for unresume listeners, a hash for unpause listeners. And we can see how they are used uh, in here. So for this is the unresume method. And what basically does is basic, uh, what, it, what it does is basically delegate to uh, whoever component has registered for this guy, right? So what we do here is uh, when unresume happens, Android is going to um, trigger this on resume method and what we do is uh, go through all the listeners that we have in that hash and basically call their on their own on resume methods uh, the same happens for uh, on pause uh, uh, let me see on pause uh, what we're going to do is uh, go through all the uh, listeners that are in the unpause uh, hash and basically call unpause on that particular uh, listener or, or that particular uh, component. So that is how a, a form, which is a screen in App Inventor, gets uh, its hooked into the activity lifecycle. And uh, that is basically all for for this uh, for this video. Uh, there is, I had an extra um, uh, topic in here, which is uh, limitations of the form uh, dot Java class model. So the design was <coughs> to do form as an activity. So uh, the problem we have with this right now is that if we if we want to add uh, something like an Android service, we are limited by the fact that form is actually an activity. It's not a, it's not a context. So th this is a bit more advanced. Uh, you are going to need to know what a service is, what a form, uh, sorry, what an activity is in Android and uh, how they both uh, come from or are extended from a, from a context. So. I'm not really going to talk about this now. Maybe uh, a screencast at some other uh, some other time, if you guys think that that is interesting. But uh, just to let you know that we are not in, uh, it's not that we don't want to implement services. Is that we would need to refactor the form Java class, uh, which is basically the the core of all App Inventor. It can be done, but it's actually a, a quite big step. So uh, this is all for now. Bye-bye. Uh,